Hey, hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is that you are clicking on this video. Christine Austin Ill coming to you guys today with our daily reading, right? I know I said I was going to do uh, one video per week um, that is given back to God, and today is that video. This book that I'm reading out of is Hello God, It's Me, and it's a 365-day devotional journal that my husband actually bought me for Valentine's Day. Isn't that awesome? Can you see that? And it's so nice. Um, it is inspired by life, ellieclair.com. So if you were looking for something like this, um, I had been telling him a while ago that I was looking for a nice journal um, that I could actually do a reading, a scripture reading, and then put notes down below. So this is nice because you can get into your word, get into the reading, and then draw down some things that come to mind. All right, so I'm reading to you. This is May 13, and the title is The Wings of God. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rapport. That is from Psalms 91, 1 through 4, the New International Version. So if you were raised on a farm, you have possibly witnessed the resolute protection of a mother hen. Whenever a hen senses that her chicks are in danger, she spreads her wings over them and pulls them close. This act of care places her in harm's way, but provides safety for her chicks. No matter the risk, she's willing to sacrifice herself for them. The psalmist compares God to a mother hen. God loves us so much that he opens his arms wide and gathers us in. His loving embrace draws us close letting us know that we are cherished and protected. His sh he shields us under his wings and he will gently guide us in the direction he has set out for each of us. Ultimately, Jesus spread his arms wide and allowed himself to be sacrificed in order to save us. There is no gesture of love greater than that. Hello, God, it's me. I want you to know how thankful I am for your unchanging character that gathers and protects. So guys, always remember, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how many challenges come your way, God is still there to protect and guide us every step of the way. A lot of times we forget that we are under his protection and we feel as though we need to make all the decisions. We feel that we need to, you know, take control of the situation and sometimes sometimes the things that you may be going through are spiritual warfare and you need to get in alignment with your heavenly father so that you can understand what is going on and you can understand how to fight these battles because sometimes again it's not you having to physically fight but getting into prayer and allowing God to give you that peace that you need give you the understanding that is necessary for you to be able to make the correct choices in whatever matter you may be dealing with. So hopefully this word uh, inspired you guys, it made you think a little bit as to what it is that you need to do in order to be in alignment with God and to make sure that you are living a peaceful life in this crazy world that we all live in. So that's it for me today. I'm out. Have a blessed Peace.